2023 general election has been regarded as one of the most rigged election in the history of Nigeria. But some people believe that it is not even the worst election. That the worst election is that of the 2007 election where Yaadua was the uh, winner of the election, but he admitted that the process at which he get into power was not smooth at all. Now, the 2023 general election is uh, something that is more of an election because the candidate of APC has been alleged to have committed a lot of forgery and so many evidence has been flying on mystery media as well as uh, social media as to show that Bola Ahmed Tinebu forged his way from uh, Chicago State University that he forged the certificate he as well as uh, also into drug related issues those allegations and you know evidence are there in public domain for everyone to see his excellency the former vice president of nigeria alhaji atiku abubakar who also contested for the presidential seat on the 25th of february 2023 haven't you know challenged the decision of the independent national electoral commission at the tribunal of which the tribunal upheld the decision of the INEC. He went ahead to sue the Chicago State University as, as well as Bola Ahmed Tinibu to court in the U.S. Yesterday was the judgment and the statement from the attorney of the Chicago State University was that they cannot actually authenticate you know, the document that the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is parading. And this is this is generating a lot of controversy and many people are you know trying to find out what actually happened if they said that the the certificate cannot be authenticated then something is fishy about the institution now let me give you a little read uh, story about what someone wrote on twitter according to, according to jackson he said, the story of Bola Tinibu in Chicago. He said, as at midday, I was already at the U.S. District Court today in Chicago. I met an old man who should be in his 60s. According to him, he knows Bola Ahmed Tinibu way back when he was a cab driver. That is, Tinibu was a cab driver. He said, he thought the court was in the money when I told him that what the time what time the court was sitting he said he can't wait and he left but before he left we had a chat he didn't knew my in interest but just felt comfortable chatting he said tinibu's story is well known among old nigerians in chicago he was he said while tinibu was a taxi driver he was also clearing money or clearing money for drug dealers he said Tinibu was like the cashier, the banker, and financial strategist and consultant for all the drug dealers in Chicago. He said once they make sale, they go to him to keep it or help bank the, you know, the proceed. He said while Tinibu was a taxi driver, he was also cleaning money. Okay, I'm repeating the same thing again. He said. He said, any Nigeria around 50, 70 who is still in Chicago knows the story of Tinibu very well. And he said, note, I am still in Chicago combining and dining and whining. Now here, it did happen. This was somebody, I mean, Mr. Jackson on Twitter reacting to this. And many people are saying that if what uh, Chicago State University said is true, Tinibu should even sue the school for saying such, knowing fully well that he was a genuine student. If Bola Ahmed Tinibu was a genuine student, just like most of us Nigerians, I don't think that he should be asking the school not to release his uh, document. He should have come out long time ago to tell the school to release his document. This one said that 
great men don't go to school they just school from home chicago university is different from chicago university oh okay chicago university is different from chicago university um i wouldn't want to use the remaining words that he chose while typing so you know this uh controversy as to the uh president of the federal republic of nigeria for forgery uh related issues to chicago university is something that will still be ringing in the minds of nigerians as time goes on remember today mark it exactly seven days since the judgment was delivered at the tribunal and we have just barely seven days left for the supreme court for the uh, petitioners to you know uh, appeal the case before the Supreme Court, you know, for the hearing to begin and as well as to know who actually will become the president of Nigeria for the next four years. This is some of the pictures that uh, I, I saw from the event in India and it seems that the president was lonely. <laughs> no one seems to be associated with him. And many Nigerians believe that uh, this is more like the issue surrounding him and no one want to associate with somebody that have drug related issues as well as also having um, forgery cases. Could this be the end of the road for His Excellency or uh, for uh, Bola Ahmed Tinebu as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as it seems like he is failing to convince the courts, you know, about his uh, certificate issue. When you look at the judgment that have been released by or have been passed in the past by the Supreme Court as regarding disqualification, among other cases, you will understand with me that it, the president, Bola Ahmed Tinebo, time in Asorok is nothing but 60 days but with the nigerian court hit the nail at the head that is still yet uh, to be to be seen by or that will be far from belief when nigerians you know cross their finger to see what comes out of the courts thank you for staying this long to watch uh this video Please, if you've not hit the subscription button, go ahead to subscribe and share this video to reach a larger audience. Thanks for watching.